Brian, thanks for joining me today. I'd like to start, if I may, with the company's rebrand late last year, where the company changed its name from OpenDNA to Rue Life Group. As a result of that rebrand, can you just talk us through some of the key areas of focus for Rue Life? Sure. Thanks, Alex. Good to speak with you. Rue Life as a business has a well-established business model. What we do is that we've got a proven China-facing e-commerce and digital marketing service, and what we do is we connect international brands to Chinese shoppers. So in the most simple terms, we, we see ourselves and we act as the online gate to China. You know, in Australia and China, we provide our online services to companies that are looking to attract and sell to customers online. They're the very consumers that we've all become during our extended time spent at home during, during the COVID-19 pandemic period. I mean, and that's our core business. What we do is that we help our client brands sell online anywhere in the world but we have a particular focus on how we can help them to sell into the China market, which is the largest and fastest growing online shopping market in the world. Real Life, through that avenue, provides investors with that diversified exposure to this market where international products from countries such as Australia are in, are in high demand. They're regarded as safe, high quality and aspirational, and we know that three out of four customers are buying online. Okay, Brian, could you just specifically talk us through how Real Life generates its revenue? We have two main revenue streams. We have a recurring monthly marketing fee, so that's our, our sort of bread and butter that comes through every month. Then we also make commission on all the products that we sell. And that means that we're, as we're taking these brands into China, the more we sell, the greater the revenue for us. And that's the, the highly scalable opportunity for us as a business operating in a market of the size of China. Now, just shifting tack a bit for a moment, Brian, how has the company adapted to the current market conditions? Are you seeing any potential opportunities arise as a result? Oh, absolutely. We see, as much as there's been a lot of challenges associated with what's going and happening in the world right now, it presents such a huge opportunity for us, us as a business. You know, obviously it had a, a sort of an impact on us in the in the short term. We've been having significant revenue growth over the last 12 months, but impacting from logistics and supply chain and that did have, a, have an impact on those numbers and what we were able to achieve. But something we have taken away from this is that demand for our products and the online engagement is higher than it's ever been for us. We've been selling out of products online in our marketplaces in China. The impact to us was on the supply side, so our client brands being able to get those products into market. What we've done though now is that we've worked closely with them, those products are being shipped and also freight flights are returning. So we're, we've addressed that issue, we're, we've seen strong demand and, and businesses across the world are, are seeing and taking a stronger focus online and the China market is leading that. China led into COVID-19 and they're, they're ahead of us in terms of their recovery. They were already the biggest online shoppers in the world. What has transpired has even led to stronger online engagement. And we've seen that uh, globally, we've seen it in Australia. You know, during the time as well, we've seen some other significant developments for us as a company. You know, we were recently appointed as the international marketing partner for Alipay. That's the payment arm of the biggest e-commerce provider in China, Alibaba and a company with 1.2 billion users with 900 million of those in China. So what it means is that if a business wants to list on the Alipay platform and market and promote itself to, to Chinese consumers, that's something they just can't do themselves. That's where we come in. Rue Life creates the marketing messages for them in Mandarin. We operate the promotions for them and we drive the sales and payments through the Alipay platform. It's a fantastic endorsement for us as a company and it puts us in a really privileged position. And we're, it leverages our core skills, our digital marketing teams in Australia and China, and it's something that we've enacted immediately and we're already starting to roll it out with our clients. And the other side of it, during the last quarter as well, we, we added a, a great new client that brought immediate new revenues for us. We were appointed by a US and Singapore-based uh, company, Nuria Beauty, they're a skincare brand um, out of a team of people from Johnson & Johnson. And we expect that to add you know, $1.3 million of revenue. And it also allows us to grow a, an even stronger and uh, more diversified customer database. And just to give you another idea of just how things have changed and that online engagement through the, through the quarter, is that for another one of our customers, AST Pharmaceuticals, with their vitamin C products, we're able to drive 9.24 million engagements online to their China-based online sites. 
with two million in the last month alone. So this sort of typifies exactly what we're seeing. It, it does confirm that old adage, that out of crisis comes opportunity. There are more people at home spending more time online and they're actively seeking the very products that we're selling. So the health and well-being products. And that's the strong market that we're operating in. Thanks, Brian. That's a, certainly a comprehensive overview of recent uh, developments. But could you just give us an overview of the near-term catalyst that investors should be looking out for? Yeah, we are the international gateway for brands to sell into China. We're a business that's got strong, diverse revenue streams. It's a highly scalable business model. That online engagement and selling to Chinese consumers is is huge. We operate in those those high growth sectors, e-commerce in China, health and well-being, and we've got a growing database of, of customers. And as much as, as challenging as the COVID-19 disruptions have been, we see this as a unique opportunity for us as an online digital marketing and e-commerce focused business to really take advantage and grow strongly from here. Thanks, Brian. Really appreciate you joining me today and uh, all the best. Thank you very much, Alex. Really great to speak with you. Thank you.